Hello, reformers, and welcome back, I should say, to Gecko Kujo. And this is version 3.1. You can find the download link in the description if you so desire, if you haven't already played it. But I played this a huge amount of time ago. I played this, I think, three years ago, maybe even four years ago. But I believe that I did, I think, 157 videos on this mod. And obviously they were in different iterations, all the way I think from version 1.7 or something very, very low in that respect, and then going all the way to version 2.1 and eventually finishing conquering the entirety of Japan. So we had a huge amount of fun with this. I have actually worked pretty closely with the mod creator in the past, Marty. He's a really nice guy and well, his mod is, is even more impressive. It's just insanely good. Anyway, as you can see here, I yeah, I did increase my battle size slightly. These are my settings, by the way. So if you want to check those out, then you can. And very much, you know, easily you can do that. Otherwise, we're going to just start a new game and get right in here. We are going to be returning as Bruce Beartilled himself. Because it's been 15 years since the original events of my Gekukujo series. And obviously, that ended in a pretty high note. You know, we were, you know, pretty good. We, we did very well in almost all aspects. And it finished. And now 15 years have passed and he has fallen into a very, very deep hole, and he is having a really difficult time getting out of it. But obviously, that's what we're here for. We're here to lend him a little bit of a hand and some assistance with that. And there are many people that have forgotten who he was and have tried so desperately to, shall we say, scar his memory and scar what he was and, and who he was and, you know, what he was trying to do by spreading peace throughout the land of Japan, but obviously some people were not really happy with that. So now things have reverted back to more of a, shall we say, warlike state, and it is our task to come back harder and faster than ever. And that's the thing, Gekko Kujo is an absolutely fantastic mod for multiple reasons. One, because the siege mechanics are so incredibly different from anything I have played before, with the exception of Warsword Conquest, but obviously the new iteration of Warsword Conquest that, I think, took some inspiration from Gekko Kujo, because it is just that unique in terms of its siege mechanics. Anyway, here we go. Our father was, I actually can't even remember what I chose beforehand, but what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be trying to go for the best bow skills. The best archery skills right now. And I know what you're thinking. I know that you're face palming right now. Because I know that you know that I am pretty bad at the bow. But maybe not so much in Gekukujo. Because in Gekukujo there are no shields. No unit has a shield at, at all, actually. So it is a lot easier for a person using archery to you know, do pretty well. So we're going to just spend, you know, our time selecting things that are going to be giving us a huge amount of archery because one-handed and two-handed weapon proficiency, that comes very, very easily. We're going to go for personal revenge because obviously we have been backstabbed by our most trusted advisors and vassals and they have, you know, scattered the land amongst themselves and left us for dead basically so that's that's what we're that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna go for personal revenge because it actually makes sense even though it does give us a pretty decent stat boost so yeah not too bad about that and oh yeah full disclosure here by the way i'm probably going to be modifying his persuasion slightly because he is a very old man at this point i mean i don't even know how old he was when he first you know visited japan but I'm, I'm going to say that he's about maybe mid-50s right now. So he, he is a pretty old man, but he does know quite a bit about being persuasive. And we're going to see how well he does there. Okay, so we don't have any power throw, which is absolutely fantastic. I was really, really hoping that I wouldn't have any problems with that. Because you know me, sometimes, sometimes I get power throw without really meaning to. Anyway, let's go for some strength here. I want to get some more power draw. Thank you very much. And I suppose I will be specking into intelligence because that is 
quite necessary. Let's go for some horse archery. Go for a little bit more in riding, but I... Oh, no, I don't even... I, can't, oh, I already have two points in pathfinding. That's pretty good. Okay, so leadership's also fine. Let's go for one point in prisoner management just in case. Don't think it's going to be very likely that we'll be able to take any one prisoner right now. And there's also foraging. Foraging has also been added. I think it was added in one of the later versions, but I, I seem to... Yeah, I think it was added, added in 2.0, actually. But anyway, let's go for another point in riding skill just so we have a really, really good horse. I'm going to be using a two-handed weapon for the most part, but yeah, let's go with that. And then we're going to be building a bear tilled. Let's just see whether I can actually get a, a good one. Can I? Can I get a good one? Oh, that looks that looks pretty reasonable, I'd say. And we're just gonna yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. That looks pretty decent. All right, so let's let's actually just okay. This is gonna take me a bit of time, I guess. All right, so I think I've kind of found something that I, I you know, I kind of like, mainly because, oh yeah, I didn't do need to change his age. He's going to be pretty old right now, but yeah, anyway, point is, I found something pretty decent because obviously he is, you know, he's been living very, very roughly and he hasn't been taking care of himself at all, so he's going to have a very big beard, very bushy beard, and he's also going to have very long hair, so we're going to go with that, and I'm going to make my hair color a little bit darker there, and then we're going to go onward. All right, so now i actually can't remember where we started beforehand but well that's just to be expected i think we started in edo probably so we might be doing something along those lines again but i wouldn't mind starting somewhere a little bit new so maybe i should start in sakai for example take a ship ah take a ship to sakai okay let's do that why not ah the gateway to kyoto from the east all right Okay, so we do need to deal with a bandit, of course. I do have a nice bow, so I, th I should be fine. I do like the bow mechanics in this game as well, or technically in this mod. And we're going to see how well I am doing here. Yes, there we go. Oh, that was some damage. Take that, you person. Yeah, there we go. That was the best insult ever. All right, so are you all right? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Take me to your bed chambers. Uh, yes, that's what he likes to do. All right. Hello there. Jiro. Yes. I've tried to live my life with it while ignoring the samurai. Even in these turbulent times, I figured if I kept my head down, none of the their plots or wars would affect me. I was wrong. They they killed my brother. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they, they did actually technically take the entirety of Bruce Beartilt's kingdom away from him. So I suppose, you know, that's a little bit worse. Or is it? Wait, they killed his brother? Oh, they killed his brother. Wait, wait a minute. My older brother tried to investigate the murder. Oh, okay. So... Brother was killed, gotta rescue a brother. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we have a hundred Mon. Okay, let's go, Mon. Yes, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that was awful. All right, so d uh, deserters, Mio um, Miyoshi skirmishers, they are not gonna be good. Anyway, welcome to Gekukuja, because as you can see, the map is huge, and it is very, very detailed. And I, I, I don't know, I'm just blown away every time I see Gekukuja, to be honest, because it is extremely well made. And, I mean, just look at it. There are so many different things that you can take here. And there are some new things that I have not seen before on these islands to the west, sort of northwestish place. So, I think at some point we're obviously going to go and check that out. Now, where am I? Oh, I'm over here by Sakai. Okay, so I have 100 mon. Probably want to avoid... Oh, I don't have a horse, really? I thought I'd actually have a horse. Well, I do have some furs, so I suppose that's pretty nice. Now, these bows, obviously, they do have a unique firing animation, so it's pretty difficult to actually see over them. So maybe I'm going to have to shoot in third person, mostly, but let's actually just see what happens here. Okay, so, yeah, this is another cool feature here as well, by the way. So if you only want to recruit one villager... Then you can do that, or you can recruit them all. I'm obviously going to be recruiting them all. You can also automatically sell items, automatically buy food. You can also find work in the village. Maybe we should do that. The whole village needs help to gather firewood. The work involves draft animals. Riding skill. You will work for three days under the total care of the villagers. They will feed and house you. They have no money, however, and at the end of the three days, you will be paid in kind. You are bringing two of your people to work with you. The employer promises to assign you as their foreman. Take the job? I, I don't even know what this is, so I guess we're just going to take it and see what happens, because I think this was also another feature that was added pretty late on in development, 
And I didn't really use it that much because, you know, Bruce Beartild was well on his way to conquering Japan, so there was not really any need to do these preliminary, very early game sort of things. So, ah, oh, okay, so there you go. They compensate me with a basket of fruit, and they also give me some relation with them, which is absolutely fine, because if I'm going to be using these units more often, then I suppose that's going to be fine. And we can also find some other work here. Yeah, there you go. The work is straightforward. Needs help building a new farmhouse. Well, I'm obviously not going to be doing that right now, but yeah, we're going to go around to some of the other villages and see what we can do. But it's really nice to actually see that you can gain relation with them without doing annoying tasks. Obviously, I do have to go to the village center and look for the village headman, which is obviously eh, not particularly something I want to do all the time. But, well, we're going to need to make good relations with most of the villagers if we want to start recruiting a huge amount. Obviously, my main goal right now is to make enough money to purchase an enterprise. And hopefully, I'll be able to maybe complete a couple of tournaments. But that really depends on how fast I am able to level up. So, let's see. Garuji. Hello, Garuji. Okay, so do you have any special tasks? Uh, a few heads of cattle. Oh, no. No, I can't do that. I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to, but no. Not right now, at least. I mean, I know, I think you'd probably have to raid a village and get some somehow, but yeah, okay. It's absolutely fine. I don't really think it matters too much. Okay, so yeah, otherwise, we have the foraging skill. We actually do, apparently. We have two in foraging. Okay, that's pretty nice, because now we have... 87 days worth of food apparently so yeah I think I think we're pretty good for quite a while unless we you know get a huge influx of units which is probably gonna happen pretty soon okay so what I'd like to do you can also recruit some samurai here by the way so there are two different types of units you can get village recruits and you can also get shall we say quote-unquote noble units in other words samurai units they're not technically noble units but they're they're available in every town, and are they available in castles? I can't really remember that, but I suppose we'll find out in due time. Ah, Francisco, I remember you. Yeah, so we didn't really use Francisco that much because he had a problem with one of our other companions. But I'd very much like to find all of those companions because they were extremely loyal to Bruce, and they made sure that he escaped alive, I suppose you could say. Okay, so here we go. I am from an old family, a kingdom between France and Spain and Europe. I am a missionary for the Holy Mother Church and the Society of Jesus. You probably know it from its more common name. All right, yeah. Well, I'm I'm going to get him if he is free. Uh, he needs 500. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get him then. I can technically get him if I sell these furs, but I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm just going to leave him where he is. And we'll see what we can do. Find work in town? Oh. You'll work for eight hours. At the end of the day, you'll be paid 12 mon. You have no further obligations after that point. Okay, so I could wait for a better job. Oh, look at this. The work requires large teams of unskilled laborers. You'll be paid 12 mon. All right, so there you go. You can, you can actually do things. But 12 mon, eh, I mean, that's not really good. But obviously, this early on. Oh, there we go. 17 mon. That's a little bit better. Okay, let's do this just to see what it actually does. I'd also like to get a little bit of... Oh, there you go. You just gained it. All right. I'd like to gain a little bit of relation. No, apparently, I didn't gain any relation at all. Well, that's, that's a bit of a shame. But you can sell items automatically. Usually, what I like to do is do this. But I'm not going to be doing that right now because I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything just yet that is worth selling. And I don't have any gear that's actually any good right now. So anyway, now what I do need to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've already collected five men. So I can actually just go into the inn again and say to him, Hey, Jiro, you, you, can you give me the whereabouts? I will capture the samurai. Yes, exactly. All right. So where is he? Ah, there he is. There's the samurai traveling part. Oh, I don't really want to fight late at night. I really hate fighting at night. I actually think that maybe Gekakujo has a slight problem with that, but maybe I'm misremembering or something, but we'll see. I've been looking for you. Tell me where your lord is, or, or who he is, or whatever, and I will let you go. Yes. We shall see who dies today. Oh, I think Bruce actually looks pretty good with the slightly graying beard and slightly graying hair. I think that's kind of nice. Anyway, we do have villager from the Kenai. Oh, okay. I thought we were just going to get Kenai villagers, but 
Apparently not. Okay. So this is, I, I think these are new units. I don't believe I have ever used these before, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Oh, do bear in mind, I also have a dagger. I have a dagger that I cannot parry with. Oh my, that's going to be a bit difficult. All right, so mm, probably going to need to focus on getting a one-handed weapon soon enough. Maybe we'll be able to get a Wakazashi or something along those lines because, well, that's usually a pretty common weapon to acquire, so should be should be reasonable enough. And we do have the enemies coming towards us right here. Oh, they actually have throwing weapons or they have bows or something along those lines. That's not very nice of them, is it? Whoa, we actually have a really good amount of accuracy. I mean, look at our accuracy right now. It's actually pretty nice. But yeah, as you can see, the unique firing animation might be a bit of a problem. Because, as you can see here, look at that. It go, the arm goes a little bit, maybe a bit too high. But I don't really mind about that so much because it does add a little bit more immersion and atmosphere. So there's our first renown point. Ah, yes. Fantastic. We're going to need a bunch of those. Okay, so how dare you? I am a key vassal of Lord Hatakiyama. Okay, so the, uh, the letters you carried in your baggage tell me who you really work for. One of my men recognized your face and told me who your real lord is. The letters you carried in your baggage. Let's just say that. So I guess that means you don't need me alive anymore. Very well, I am not afraid to die. But know this, you are a fool if you think your band of rabble can assault our mansion in Kishiwada. Oh, okay, so this is this is completely new. Completely new, the, shall we say, the dialogue, Kidnapper's Mansion. Now this is, I would assume, not going to just be a cave where the kidnappers are. I'm pretty sure this is going to be something much, much more involved. Alright, so we have, oh, these are Miyoshi units. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, I was unaware that they actually were Miyoshi units until I, yeah, should have actually known, considering I was mousing over the town over here. Yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. Okay, so are we going to get spearmen or are we going to get skirmishers? I seem to remember that the Miyoshi have extremely good archers. So I think we're just going to go for skirmishers here. And I think there is actually, is there a troop tree? No, there is not a troop tree in the game, but the mod does come with a readme file folder place where you can actually see which faction is good with each troop type. So obviously they do have the Hatamoto units, and some are better than others. And I think the Miyoshi are actually really good with archery. So we're obviously going to find that out as time goes on. I'd like to fight those looters if possible. Wouldn't mind leveling up a couple more of our units. There we go, before we actually go in, because, you know, we do need better bows and everything, and it would be kind of nice. So let's see if I'm actually able to do a little bit of damage here. We actually have extremely good accuracy, considering. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. I mean, we do have 89 proficiency, so I suppose it does make a bit of sense. But still, we can't allow these guys to actually get to us because we are technically all archers. So it would be pretty damaging. It would be pretty damaging if they decided to... Wait, is he throwing rocks? That guy's throwing rocks. That's not very nice. Well, we're not in a glass house, so we should be fine. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm doing pretty reasonable damage. Can I get a headshot? Yep, there we go. I can get a headshot. Oh, not bad. Bruce still, you know, still got his still got his vision going. Still got his vision. Although <laughs> it seems like uh it seems like our units are not particularly good when it comes to that sort of thing. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so we can take a chipped kunai. I won't be taking that. I will be taking it to sell, but not nothing much else. Ooh, yeah, an old head wrap. Oh yes, plus one to head armor, that's what we like. Okay, so, yeah, I don't think my people leveled up at all. They did just absolutely fail, in my opinion, in that particular fight, but, uh, well, what can you expect? They are just the first tier of unit. So, let's go and attack the hideout. They don't appear to have noticed us yet. So, yeah, this is the Kidnapper's Mansion. So, this is technically a really nice introduction to how the siege mechanics work in Gekko Kujo, because... This is what you're going to be seeing, obviously with different layouts and all kinds of different bottlenecks, all kinds of different directions that you're going to have to run in and everything, but this is an, a really nice beginning introduction to that because it basically says these are what the siege is going to be like and that's just, in my opinion, invaluable because if you're a new player or if you're just looking for your first mod or something like that, baggage? There's actually baggage here, uh, hilarious. I actually thought I'd be able to get some some treasure or something, but no. But yeah, we do have a pretty nice introduction here. And if you're if you're new to Gekakujo or Warband in general, and you just want to play a mod that is focused in Japan, then this is obviously, in my opinion, probably the best one. So, you know, 
I would highly recommend checking it out. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, wait, wait a minute. Wait a... Oh, no. That is a samurai unit if ever I saw one. I shot my own person and he died. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, let's just try and headshot this guy as much as we can. There we go. He's dead. That's what you get. Does that guy have a musket? I, that guy does have a musket. I am not very happy about that, actually. Because him having a... Oh, my. Okay, this is actually a bit difficult, isn't it? Oh, dear. All right. Well, we do have a pretty bad bow. He has a musket. And this guy has a polearm of sorts. That. Oh, yes. Nice headshot. Thank you very much. And... I did get killed in one hit. I actually got killed in one hit. Oh my. That was... Th oh, wow. Okay. He did 64 damage. 64. I can't believe it. Oh well. Never mind. We do, uh, we do have 47 HP, but literally if I had even, what, 5 in Iron Flesh, I would still not have enough to survive that attack. That is hilarious. Okay. So yeah, okay, well, never mind. So we're gonna we're gonna get some more intelligence here, mainly because I might Hmm should I get some more athletics or maybe I should get some trainer skill? I'm actually unsure about this, because I do know that I'm not gonna be specking in engineer, first aid, or any of the medicinal skills because there are companions that do that very, very nicely. Maybe I should just go for a little bit more in leadership. And as I said, I am actually going to be changing his persuasion skill because he is a good talker in my opinion i mean he's he's pretty old right now so he's going to be pretty persuasive and i'm going to be changing that myself so i don't really need to spec into that but maybe some weapon master no nah, i think weapon master is kind of a waste right now so i guess we'll just go for some power strike i suppose that will be fine and what do i have right now i have a one-handed sword so i suppose i should just spec into that a little bit and i guess that will be it for the first episode of gekakujo we're gonna be you know, heading into the kidnapper's mansion after this, and maybe what I'm going to need to do is go around a little bit more and see if I can level up our units. I was not expecting the kidnappers to be that powerful. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.